guys. So this is going to be my favorites and fails for January 2022. I know this is a little late, but a lot of stuff going on with the move, new job, stuff like that. So I thought I would do something versus nothing for my favorites. And I haven't played with makeup for a while, so it's cool to get a chance to kind of play with it. Um, I got a bunch of new items, so I'm not going to throw these really in my favorites because it's not really fair to people to say they're my favorites when I just got them. But I'm going to throw in some items that are favorites. I'm going to start out with something kind of boring, but it's definitely a favorite. It's the Batiste dry shampoo. I love this dry shampoo. Honestly, I've tried so many and this one is by far the best one. Um, I got this for $4.99 at Ross and I definitely recommend taking it out. This is in the floral and flirty blush set and uh, <laughs> three floral and flirty blush set and um, yeah, better than a lot of the uh, I've tried like uh, Blood Jive Bar. Um, Living Proof and all those. And this one is still by far my favorite. Um, doesn't leave that white cast in my hair. And I have not been using my uh, wrap, my Dyson Air Wrap very much lately. So I've mostly been straightening my hair and then just leaving it. And then when I straighten my hair, it gets really faster. So I have to use a dry shampoo. So this is definitely a top of my list. I'm sure you guys have heard of it before, but my favorite. Um, Another favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Follow Study Spray. I definitely notice a difference when I don't use this um, at work. If I don't spray this on, my makeup will definitely fade. This is pretty. This has pretty much become my only setting spray that I own. Um, just nice, pleasant scent. But the biggest thing is the fact that. I literally notice a huge difference in my makeup longevity if I don't use this, like huge, huge difference. I'm like, I wish I use my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush city spray. I won't, almost want to like, you know, not use it because I use it so, so much. Like I want to, what's the word? Um, save it. I want to save it because it's expensive, but um, as you can see, this is how much I've already used of it. And it's just amazing. The formula is just kiss. What is next? Um, these brushes from It Cosmetics. This is their, I believe, this is on sale right now. They have their base set and their eye set. Um, I love, first of all, the packaging is super, I mean, the actual handles are super cute. This is the powder brush. I love this powder brush. I love this super soft blush brush. So if you can get your hands on this set, I don't remember the name, I'll link it down below. It's also an eye brush set. I purchased the eye brush set after the face set. And it's also amazing. It Cosmetics has amazing makeup and brushes in general, but um, this is our on sale, so I'll definitely pick that up if you can. Um, here's some more of their brushes. This is the highlighter brush, which I absolutely love. I just washed it, and their precision shadow brush is so, so nice. But yeah, the fact that it's on sale is super, super awesome. And what else here? Um, I also like the ColourPop brushes I recently purchased. This is the E17. It comes in the set. This is also on sale, I believe, or maybe not. It's new to Ulta. This is their powder brush. It's pretty big, but I still like it. So this is what I, I would recommend is the top two. This is the Cosmetics brush set and the ColourPop eye and face brush set. I have been loving those those two uh, brush sets even more than like my Sonia G. Um, sets almost to the point where I don't even know why I spent all the money on that. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm saying here. As you can see, I have so many of these color pop brushes and I just love them so, so much. This is a really good highlighter brush. This is a perfect shadow brush. You just really don't need to spend a lot of money on brushes. I mean, I do love my Japanese brushes, but um, only a few of them really stand out to me as like worth the money compared to those which do the same thing so yeah um, next are a few eyeshadow palettes this is the dirty martini glam light palette i'm not gonna lie i haven't had a chance to really use this like insanely but every single time i use it it's like a perfect nighttime look i have this on literally one shade the shade by continue on my eyes this is a really good going out palette and the 
colors are. I mean, it's definitely going out palette, that's for sure. Um, but if you are going out, I really love that. I also have been loving the Rare Beauty uh, Confidence Energy. I just feel like these are like super wearable jewel tones. I can just kind of pop them on. Um, I like mixing the two. I like popping them on my lower lash line. I just feel like I get a lot of use out of this palette. Even though it's super, super colorful, I still feel like I get a lot of use out of it. Um, I've also been loving the Rouge Romance by Jack and Peel. These blush palettes, I have two of them. I did have to write cool and warm on them. Um, these are just like every single color that you ever need. It's extremely pigmented, so little girls a long way. This is the cool one. Um, they are like $50 each, but honestly, you'll have every single color that you probably would need. And also the packaging is super cute. My only gripe is that they look exactly the same, so I just like write that on there. Um, I do wish you had like different packaging for the cool and the warm tones. Um, but overall, these are very similar to the MAC blushes, but I do find them more pigmented than the MAC blushes. That's what I was told. Um, like that's what really sold me on buying them because I love the MAC blush formula. These are more pigmented than that, just a tad bit, but they're very similar. Um, what else? I've been loving my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. I talk about this all the time. I'm almost out of this. Um, one of the best powders in the game. Seriously, love it. Setting all over the face. I do get to set under my eyes sometimes. It doesn't really hurt, but really good. It adds a little bit of coverage. Really good at being an olive skin tone. So definitely recommend CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. Um, since I'm almost out of this one. I have two glosses to talk about. This is the Busy Art lip gloss in Patel. This is just a beautiful light pink, and I have a lot more coming. I've just realized I love light pink. This is like a clear gloss, definitely leaving light pink. Um, I think it's a really pleasant scent. It stays on the lips. I have it on right now on top of the. I believe it's Turn On in NYX XXL. I love these. Um, I talk about them all the time. So yeah, I do like this lip gloss. I got it on sale at Sephora. I think it's super nice. Um, I love the Rare Beauty lip gloss in Nearly Rose. I love the formula on these and the fact that I got a shade that I actually like. As, as you know, I like pink. Um, I do like the formula on these and I originally got uh, the color Nearly Natural, which is a little bit dark for me. I don't like colors that it turn out to be brownish of just like more light pink i just think it makes me look more youthful less squishy <laughs> um, with my dark, dark eyes to be honest um so yeah i really like that color and that formula um so we're gonna move on to the fails so the fails um nothing really wrong with the formula i just don't really get a good use out of it this, this is a patrick ta major headlines blush palette i just don't feel like these really last on my skin I feel like these are really, I just don't really get a really good use out of this palette. I don't understand why I bought it. I like the individuals, but I just don't really like this palette. Um, it doesn't really show up on my skin. I can show you. Like, I, I know the trick is to put the creams over the powders, which I do sometimes, but I feel like I'm just doing like extra work um, because I don't really feel like these colors are that flattering on me. Maybe it's the color choice. I don't know. It fades quickly and I don't really understand the effect. Um, just something I don't really reach for as much as I thought I would because I love the original blushes so, so much. Uh, like the She's All That and All That, like the, just the individuals, I really like that. But I think just the shades are what I don't like. So if it's all skin tone, I would kind of steer clear because it's like bright, 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 dark. It's just kind of like throwing me off. Kind of, it's not flattering. It doesn't really do much for my, for my eyes. I mean, for my, for my cheeks. Next fail is the CoverGirl, I mean the CoverGirl, the Sephora Big by Definition Mascara. I just feel like this is not really doing anything for my lashes at all. Uh, it might be because it is not dry enough, but as you can see, I'm applying a lot and it really doesn't do anything. It maybe makes them black. Um, this has been getting a lot of hype. The packaging is cute, but it's just really not a great mascara, I'm not going to lie. Not too expensive, but kind of what we're priced for. Literally doing nothing. I feel like drugstore mascaras are just as good. 
I have a lot of fails this month, so some more fails are the ColourPop lipsticks in the Barbie collection. So the colors are cute. This is in the shade Golden Beach. This is a beautiful nude. It just the packaging is super plasticky. It just it does look like kids makeup. Um, I really will just probably put this as a like a just like I like to display my makeup, but also want to be able to use it. Um, it's just super creamy. It kind of gets all over your face and literally like gives makeup from Claire's. Um, I like oh, I like this collection overall, but these lipsticks are a big fail. I do like the lip liners though. And the last fail is this Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. And honestly, this had really good reviews on Ulta. I don't know if that may be why. Um, as you can see, it's super thick. And when I put it underneath my eyes, it is like crease city. Like it just ages me so much. It's crazy. Um, like seriously, it's just horrible underneath my eyes. I will only use it on my face. It's just, it doesn't do anything but create more bags in my eyes. It's just, it's way too thick. It's like tart shape tape minus the coverage. Look, it's already getting. It's just so cakey and disgusting. It, I will probably, there you go, there you go. So I, I, I guess Ulta kind of just like inflates a lot of their products or oh, maybe some people love this. I personally don't really know how you would love something so thick, but um, yeah, that kind of wraps it up guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and join the family. And I love you and thank you for taking some time to watch this video. Bye guys, we'll hand the swatch.